All right, everyone. How's it going, YouTube? This is Inventory King. Uh, picked me up some fish. Uh, James Largo hooked me up again. Um, as you, those of you who know, we uh, are from my videos that uh, I got a 220 in the garage. I'm going to be setting up um, hopefully soon. So I'm trying to get as many nice fish as I can. And so when I set the 220 up, we're ready to go. So here we go. Uh, he sent it Southwest Cargo, and uh, let's take a look. James is awesome. Recommend him to anybody. Great customer service. Great fish. Uh, just excellent. Sends a business card with his uh, stuff. Here we go. See what we got going on here. I see you put them in a trash bag, that's great. Like any shipment, you always want to make sure make sure they're good, so. Here's hoping everyone made the trip safely. Here we go. First fish. Three to three and a half sunshine. Ch chose this guy because you wanted blue face. There he is, chilling. Next. We got the Eclipse three and a half to four. The Eclipse male, wow. Doing all right. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, we got three more. Replacement um, Lodo. We're working on. Here we go. He's alive. He's in there. Next, we got Dragon Blood. Goodness, you are welcome. Wow, that is a gorgeous male. I'm liking this one. Stunning. And last but not least, we got the iceberg. Five inch iceberg. Whoo, this is a big boy. He's got some nice blaze starting to come in. Looks great. Well, everyone made it safe, safe and sound. Uh, pick up my tripod here. But uh, everyone's doing great. They're all alive. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get them into the 55 for now. Again, I will be getting uh, these guys into a 220, hopefully within the next month. All right, I'm going to um, do what I do. I like to pull the rock out, catch the fish. I put them in between a couple of buckets. I'll stick them somewhere dark to where they, you know, I don't know, they're sleeping or something. Uh, and then I will float the new guys in a dark room. And then from there, I will come back in when they're ready to go in I will bring the guys from the buckets into the room all dark let the new guys into the tank and then dump the uh, original fish back into the tank and from there I uh, let me try to get a zoom on here it's there we go that's better uh, my new camera my Nikon 3200 I picked up to start getting some good quality videos and pictures 
Uh, and then I put them all in at the same time in the dark, leave them in the dark for about 30 minutes. Then I turn it on and with the decor change and everything being dark, it seems to do really well. I've uh, had very, very, very minimal aggression. Um, so that's been great. See you guys all soon. All right, so now I got the uh, rocks all uh, taken out and kind of reset up. Just so it looks different. Uh, got all the fish out. Uh, currently I'm using the python. It best investment I've made, that python. A little bit of money, but the fact that you don't have to lift buckets anymore makes all the difference. I'm gonna be getting ready to get them in there soon. And I'll show you guys uh, what uh, else I do. So in my laundry room is where I got the sink. I got the 50 footer. But the other thing I bought was a great investment. Might be kind of hard to see. But uh, let me get this a little shaky, apologize. This thing uh, measures how many gallons of water. Got it on Amazon. And uh, so once I take the water out, I put that on and I know exactly how much water I'm putting back in the tank. No guessing. And I stuck the fish in these buckets inside the closet so that uh, it's dark. I just turned the light on so everyone could see. But uh, that's uh, what I do. Works great. So we're getting there. I, uh, these are some of the things I like to use. Uh, I used to use um, aquarium salt, but I switched to Epsom salt because uh, it just uh, was recommended by Half Man Half Cichlid uh, when I was having an issue with uh, potential bloat and pretty much I've subbed out now and um, so far it's been working great. I also, of course, I mean, who doesn't use Prime? And then I also like to use Fluval Cycle. It just adds that bacteria back in after water change or moving things around. Cichlid Lake Salt, Malawi uh, Buffer and stress coat. Uh, these are some of the things I use when I do my water changes. Okay, it's a little light in here now, but what I like to do, so I brought the fish from the closet into here and I'm gonna put a uh, towel over them. And then I got the fish from James Largo in the tank. This just works really well for me. All right, everyone, here's what it looks like. Rocks moved around some, got a bunch of fish. Really happy with what I got from James. It's looking great. Uh, Dragon Blood is sick. It's just so awesome. The Eclipse is a pretty sweet fish. I'm excited about that one. Um, the Iceberg is huge, he's a stud. Um, the ivory head Meloto, he's getting his blaze on. I like that. Um, there's so many fish in here. I also got a sunshine from him. Uh, another one, it looks great. And there's one more I picked up. And for some reason, I'm not remembering what it is. But here we go. Let me uh, go in on this here and getting a close-up for you all there's the dragon blood I got I mean just Wow there is the Eclipse like him what else do we got going on in here there's the ivory head Meloto Look at that blaze. Mm, love the blaze. It's hard to tell, but there he is in the back. There's the iceberg. I mean, just a huge. Oops, sorry guys. Uh, another one I picked up a little uh, while back. Uh, German Red. There's a flavescent. Taiwan Reef, 
Lathanop's Intermedius. If it makes that noise, it's just trying to uh, zoom, zoom, well, focus better anyway. Let's see what else we got going on here. White Ollie I got from him. All in all, I'm going to be buying from James at least once a year. His stuff is just, it's amazing. He's got great fish. I'm not sponsored by him or anything. I just recommend him. Great customer service. Great fish. How can you go wrong? All right, guys. Another thing I've been doing, I got recently testing it out. Uh, Jay Wilson uh, hooked me up with this. Northfin. They love this stuff. I mean, I put it in there, they go nuts. It's got a very fresh smell to it. I think that's gonna do wonders uh, for them. Just gives me the feeling that there's it's great quality food, and they literally go insane for it. I try to not feed as much. I feed very little just because of uh, issues I've had before uh, with overfeeding. I get to watch them go after it. All right, guys. Didn't say much at the end there, but uh, like I said, I am I'm stoked with this order from James. Uh, I'm liking the way that the fish are looking. Um, it's great to uh, see good color. Uh, I had a meltdown within the last year. I had some, you know, everyone kind of all all bigger fish, and one day came home and they were dead. I don't know what the heck happened. But uh, starting over and uh, starting over with a bang. Everyone, uh, thanks for watching and please comment, please rate, and most important, please subscribe to my channel and uh, give me any feedback you have. Peace out. This is Inventory King.